What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we've got another fragrance sent my way by the good folks at Perfume Box. If you're not familiar with Perfume Box, you can check them out in the link down below with a code. Uh, they are an official distributor for Dumont. They have other Middle Eastern fragrances, other cheap stuff, designers niche, very competitive pricing. It's a good place to shop. I've bought a lot of Carolina Herrera stuff there myself and all my Dumonts have come from there, which they did send what we're talking about today, Jus d'Amour number four, Ramon Blazar line from Dumont. This one's fire, <clears throat> for lack of a better term. Let's just keep it simple here. This is amazing. It smells, <laughs> we'll dive into in a little bit. Uh, I'm not familiar with what it's similar to. Some viewers let me know what it's cloning and when I saw the notes and what it smells like, holy crap, yeah, that must be what it is. But uh, I've got a lot of things to say about this one. Them sending it my way has nothing to do with my excitement for this fragrance. The way this fragrance smells has everything to do with my excitement for this fragrance. So stay tuned. So I have the notes on screen for Jus d'Amour. So it's apparently similar to Cosmala number no. four. Uh, how do you say that? Arpes, let me pull it up. Epres l'amour. I'm sure I'm butchering that, but that smells like spicy Baccarat Rouge 540. So does this. And the notes, I'll have the notes on screen or had them already. Do not dictate spicy Baccarat Rouge, like it's orange blossom and caramel and musk and citrus and stuff like that. Nothing about it says spicy. But the first time I sprayed it, actually when I wore it yesterday, not the first time I sprayed it, because I did some testing the night before, my wife literally, when she walked by the room, she's like, it smells like Red Hots in here, which is cinnamon candy. So yeah, it smells like fiery hot cinnamon plus Baccarat Rouge 540's uh, burnt sugar sweetness with amber wood and the way that saffron comes with this is so good. I'm so for the twist, and apparently it's cloning this Cosmala number four flanker, which smells like a twist on Baccarat Rouge 540. So I look at it more as a twist on Baccarat Rouge 540, which is what I'm here for. I like the twists, because it, it really does smell like BR540 with loads of cinnamon. Fiery hot, bright spice, like, oh, I never, I've never come across a, a twist on BR540's scent profile like this before. And I was blown away. I'm like, wow, this is what's up. This is a top five from the house. This is the best in this line. Every single fragrance in this line has been a monster. We'll talk about performance in a little bit, but it's not about breaking down a note breakdown for you because the notes given on Perfume Box's website and Dumont's website for this fragrance don't necessarily make sense to me because it smells like BR540 with, with cinnamon. So I'm sticking to what it smells like versus trying to say, well, I kind of get a little bit of the orange blossom. Hell no, I don't. I get fiery hot spice Baccarat Rouge 540, simple and plain. This smells amazing. Now, as far as performance, this is a beast. Be mindful if you're going to get this one and you're going to spray this one. Start with like two to four because you're going to see how strong four is, I promise. I had five on yesterday. I did, I've been doing two spray test sprays prior and two spray test sprays is more. One's plenty, more than I need. Um, so eight plus hours easily well beyond the eight hence the plus projection is on the moderate to heavy side at moderate spray when you start getting into the five spray range it's heavy it fills the it fills the entire apartment at five sprays i had five sprays on yesterday it fills the entire apartment so moderate to heavy when you go beyond four sprays on my in my experience on my skin uh it then it becomes a heavy projector for about two hours roughly then the siage here is on the moderate side constantly there to remind you. I do get a little bit of nose fatigue, but I don't go completely blind to it. Uh, it constantly reminds me that it's there. So 100% across the board, this is an absolute beast. Um, most of the Dumont fragrances are at least very strong, well above average performers, but this one, this is on the beast side. Uh, all three of the fragrances I've reviewed in this line so far, this Ramon Blazar line, absolute monsters. Um, and I don't know if this one's the strongest of the bunch, but it might be of the three that I've sampled so far. So keep that in mind. If you grab this, don't go wild. You're going to go anosmic. Everybody else is going to suffer. Monster. Final thoughts on Jus d'Amour number four, the Ramon Blazar line from Dumont. I love this one. 
This is my kind of stuff right here. I love the BR540 DNA. I love spicy fragrances. They put that together and made this. Uh, this is crazy good. Like crazy, crazy good. Crazy performance. I can get away with wearing this one more often than not. It is not the best choice for high heat summer, but it worked fine. I mean, that probably intensified the way it's been performing because it's been so hot here. But at the same time, I, I think you can get away with it year round. Just be easy on the sprays during the summer. But evenings, phenomenal. Cooler weather, milder weather during the day, phenomenal. This is 9.5 out of 10, guys. This is some of their best work for my taste because the wearability factor for me helps really boost this one's score. If it was more of a cooler weather only type of thing for me, it'd probably be more of an 8.5 out of 10. It would lose some on its cumulative score. I think, um, and I want some feedback on this from you guys. Would you prefer that I keep the wearability for me personally as a separate score and go back to the cumulative score just factoring in uh, performance and scent? Because that makes more sense because I was thinking about it, that makes more sense for everyone. Whereas me factoring in my own personal wearability, that's a personal thing. Granted, it's all based off of my experience and it's my opinion on all of it. It's my opinion. But I think I'm going to start doing that. I'd love some feedback from some of you. Do you think that's a better idea? I think that's probably the route I'm going to go. Um, unless y'all, it's, you know, everybody's like, no, it's, it's cool like that. We prefer it. Let me know. I'd be, I'd be curious to see what you guys think. But for me, yeah, this is some of their best work. Highly wearable for me, smells incredible, performs way more than I actually need it to. Again, it's fire. That's my thoughts and feelings on Jus d'Amour number four. This is one of my favorites I've tested. <sighs> Might be an argument for it being my favorite. Over Baru's Siage, it's hard to say. <laughs> it's up there. It's definitely up there, this is a good one. This is a good one. Again. Do not take my excitement for this fragrance as you needing to buy it because you don't need to buy it. That's up to you if you decide you want to look into it. Just know that I'm excited by it. I have these experiences. This is a personal thing. Your experience very well could, may, and probably will vary from mine. The likelihood of you having my exact experience is very low because we're all different, different noses, different skin chemistry, different tastes. So keep that in mind if you're going to go to blind buying this fragrance. I appreciate all of you watching. Thank you for perfume. Ah, tongue twister. Thank you to Perfume Box for sending this my way because this one's a home run for me personally. Um, again, check them out down below if you're interested. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe before you leave. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.